Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. That was an action-packed introduction right there, as you could obviously see from the semi-awkward wandering in to then leaping into the chair. That scared me just as much as it probably scared you. But here I am, present and accounted for, and presumably... You are as well, since you're here in attendance watching this, which, thank you. Hope everyone out there checking out this review is feeling and doing all right. Let's get into things. Domino's has, and this is, this is why I felt that this video required, I should say, a special introduction, because this is a special occurrence. Domino's is not one of those establishments that makes very frequent additions to their menu at all. Uh, this is a rarity, so obviously things needed to be uh, enhanced a little bit uh, for such an occasion. But it is rare that Domino's makes uh, significant changes to their menu. I would say that the last time Domino's really made a major change to their menu was uh, the addition of some of their wings, and that was back in 2020, I believe. So it's been a while. Domino's has introduced a new side item, and they have premiered their loaded tots. So what we have, obviously when you think of Domino's, I mean, this is what I think of, I think of potato, right? I don't think of pizza, I don't think of wings, I don't think of, of anything else, I think of tots. Uh, as they say, formally, potato tots, but some people call them tater tots, but they mean the same thing, that's the big secret. And they said, we're going to do these tots Domino's style. And what that means is that they're going to be loaded with all sorts of delicious substances. Legal, of course. And here's what you can get. You can get these various flavors of them. Today I'm going to be reviewing the cheddar bacon loaded tots from Domino's. So you have the potato tots. Sprinkled atop is bacon mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, and a garlic parmesan sauce. And it's available at the price of $7. And again, these are the cheddar bacon loaded tots. So again, you have the potato as the base, and sprinkled atop are these various cheeses, toppings, and sauces. And it's supposed to be uh, revolutionizing your little appetizers you're supposed to get this, it's going to get you warmed up for the pizza, and, uh, and then there you have it. Now, I'll say this. The reactions for these have been mixed. A lot of people don't like them. Some people are all right with them, but they are not well received generally. But I will say this. I've yet to try these, of course. I did get a pizza along with these. I got a pepperoni pizza just to eat. I had a bite of that, and the pizza was good. So quality-wise, uh, so far so good with this Domino's. So we will see. Comes in this box right here. If you want to talk about something that's loaded, look at that. They've got all the, all the good stuff there on the box. Fork or fingers, they say. As long as the food ends up in your mouth, we don't care how you get it there. So, you say, they say you can't go wrong. So now you know that as long as you're with Domino's, you can use a fork or your fingers. It looks like you could see by the cuff that guy actually might be wearing a suit, because it kind of looks like my cuff there, so that's, that's good. What about a spoon? It doesn't really specify. Can you eat these with the spoon? I don't know. This box dreams of becoming another box. Very good. That's what they all dream about, actually. I can smell immediately the bacon, and I can smell the potato as well. Here's what... Oh, <laughs> almost, almost slid off. Here's what they look like. It's weird. They almost... I could see the moisture. That's the interesting thing. But they look equally 
dry and burnt as they do moist, which is just an interesting observation. That's what they look like. And you could see it's just the tater tots with uh, some cheese sprinkled on and then baked. It's oven baked, so it's crispy. And I could see, I think, some bacon on them. Well, what is the best way to eat these? What do you think? Would a fork be most suitable? Here's the thing, though. All right. Let me just... So this one was on the edge, and I just peeled it off. But it looks like this is just... I think this is just a piece of potato. I don't think there's anything special about it. Right there, you can see. I don't think there's any cheese or toppings on this. I think it's just a tater tot. So you see what they look like. I guess what I'll do is I'll just try this, and then I'll, I'll just pick at it however I do, be that just dive in with a fork, or if I'm feeling adventurous, my fingers, I'll probably go with a fork. All right, I'll just try it out, see how it tastes, and uh, see what we notice. So I did mention, I think, the price is $7 for this. So that said, let's try it out. The loaded tots from Domino's, the cheddar bacon variety, going in. That was just a standard, standard tot right there. They kind of fall apart when, when I try to go in with a fork, but I'll just eat what I can. And for this final bite, I'll just try to tear off a piece. All right, and you can see. A little bit of everything. Some of the cheese. That is a bacon bit front and center there, and then you can kind of see the, the tot. water of the bottled variety this time around. Well, <clears throat> here's the problem. An item, and I think, I think we all understand this, for an item to be bad, it doesn't necessarily just have to be disgusting. You know, sometimes you can just get items that they can, they can be bearable, right? They could be tolerable. But does that make them good? Just because you could stomach it, just because you can, you can swallow it down and eat it without being uh, grossed out or wincing or any of that, doesn't mean then by default that the item is delicious. There's a lot of characteristics that I try to take into account as I try out these various items, and this is definitely one of those. I was sitting here and I was eating this, and I was thinking to myself, Personally, as I was trying this, I thought, this is, 
Mind you, my expectations weren't necessarily through the roof. I wasn't expecting the world from this. But as I was eating this, I, I just thought to myself, you've, you've got to be kidding me. It was bizarre to me how an item with as many ingredients that this has is as bland and as dull as it is. And I was looking at this, and I was thinking to myself, this is actually what they were... I mean, you're paying eight bucks for this? And this is what you're getting? Here's the problem. Two things. Number one, I just notice it being this... It, it's, it's this very abnormal state that it is in, where it's like... I almost feel like it was in the oven a tad too long. It's just weird because... While it has moisture to it, and I know it does because I'm looking at it, it's got this weird... Let me just open this up just to verify. It has this weird dryness, this dry quality to it as well. And as I said, like, I'm looking at this, this tater tot right now, and I mean, I could... I don't know how well you could see it. I could see the moisture in there. I don't think it's... Yeah, you could kind of see it. It's more of like this oiliness on the inside than it is actual moisture, and it just has this weird dry taste to it. And it's just strange, that's all, where it's just simultaneously dry yet moist at the same... It's just weird, that's all that I could say. It just has these dry qualities to it. And it's not very flavorful either, that's the thing. It's like... All right, I could kind of taste the cheddar cheese that's on this. Because he, this has the cheddar cheese, and it has mozzarella cheese, and then it has a garlic parmesan sauce. I can taste the potato, and as I said, the potato is what really has that weird, kind of dry-slash-moist quality to it. But it's just rather bland, and oily again. I can taste some of the cheddar cheese, and that is the only cheese that I can taste on this. I can't make out any of the mozzarella cheese. And the garlic parmesan sauce is completely missing in action. I can't smell it. I can't taste it. And I can't discern it either. And the bacon bits are few and far between. I mean, they are there, no doubt. I, I see them. I'm looking at them right now. But you don't really taste them all that much. They're just these tiny little pieces of bacon. And it just gets lost for the most part. And again, this just dry, yet oily tater tot. And it just, it amazes me that it's as flavorless as it actually is. As I said, this is something that I could stomach. This is something that I can eat. You know, that's no problem. I could eat bite after bite. I mean, if I really had to, I could easily eat the whole thing. It's not one of those things that just grosses me out or any of that. And it's not something that, oh, I gotta spit this out. I can't. I can't stomach this. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, it's matter. I could eat it if I had to. Would I get this again? No. Is this worth seven dollars? No. Is it disappointing? Yes. Because it's got this idea and this concept, and personally it's a concept that I wouldn't say I'm particularly excited about. It's tater tots. I mean, it's not my, fa it's not my favorite food in the world, um, but I mean, they're fine for what they are, <clears throat> but these are just... I've had breakfast hash browns that are like glorified tater tots that are a million times better than this, that don't have any cheese, that don't have any sauce, that don't have any bacon on them, let alone just regular tater tots that I'll have as a side from one establishment or the other. This, on the other hand, there's so much here, and yet there's so little that I'm noticing. So, some of the key ingredients are just totally... I don't even know if they are there. I.e. the mozzarella cheese and the sauce. The bacon is barely there, and it gets lost in these bland tater tots. It's overpriced and extremely underwhelming. Is this an item that had potential? Yeah, I would say so. But is it terribly disappointing? Yes. And it's just going to leave you feeling unmotivated. You're not really going to 
want to take another bite. It's like, what am I even... I'm not getting anything out of this. There's really no enjoyment whatsoever from this item. It's bland. Yeah, you could you could eat it, but I don't think you'd necessarily enjoy it. Domino's, like I said, that pizza that I got, so far, so good. I'm not going to be uh, giving up on Domino's or anything. I like them. When I go to Domino's the next time, though, I'm not getting this. It doesn't matter if it's on the menu, and it doesn't matter how many times they promote it. It's just not something that I'm going to be getting again. If I get a side, if I'm feeling a little ravenous, I'll get some wings. Heck, I might even get some of their stuffed cheesy bread. That's pretty good. Pizza, of course. But this, they've got some good things on their menu, and this isn't one of them. I am not a fan, and I wouldn't recommend it. Save your time, save your money, and save your appetite. It's just very disappointing and underwhelming. It's not disgusting, but it's everything but, pretty much. Out of 10, therefore, I'm going to be giving the cheddar bacon loaded tots from Domino's. I'm just going to have to give it a 3.5 out of 10. Even though it tastes, I mean, it's, it's edible. That doesn't mean that it's good. It's far from it. That's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm your host of the Report of the Week. Hopefully, whatever it is I try out next will be better than this. That's all for now.